Hello, hello, this is Sam the Old Man playing games. It's been a little while. We've got Harry Potter Magic Awakened. I've been playing it for a little bit and there is a limited time event. I just started uh, and I met Harry Potter and um, now, there we go, my view got crazy. I met him in the Great Hall. It's a limited time event and I thought, hey, since it's continued, let's record for uh, anyone who misses the event so that they can watch and see the Harry Potter interactions. Head to the Quidditch pitch. So, um, really enjoy this game, actually. I'm probably going to... I'm I'm aiming to YouTube it. I'm pretty busy these days. Lots going on. Uh, I, I really haven't played much games. Okay, here we go. Let's... Uh, do the quest. Enough about me. I'm all about the game. It's Harry Potter. You played Seeker for Gryffindor when you were at Hogwarts, didn't you, Mr. Potter? That's right. I'll never forget my first match. I wasn't aware of it at the time, but my broom had been jinxed. Bucking and out of control. It took everything I had just to stay on. Oh no. What a way to kick off your Quidditch career, eh? You said it. I take it Gryffindor lost then? Actually, I ended up catching the snitch with my mouth and winning us the match. You're kidding? In your mouth? What are the odds? Just goes to show that you should never give up. Okay, we do a picture. Nice, I shall download that for later. That could be a thumbnail. Looks like I have time to visit one last spot before class starts. What do you say we head for the courtyard? So obviously in this version of the game, this is like post Harry Potter um, uh, TV show thingamajiggies. Oh, collect the rewards. There we go. Got a card. Head to the castle square. Let's fly there. Uh, on the brooms. But yeah, this is, is set after the movies and stuff. So Harry Potter and all the characters are actually older. Um, there's the courtyard. Um, the castle square must be just up here. Here it is. There we go. <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Potter? You look a bit down. It's nothing. Just thinking to myself how much that owl looks like Hedwig. Hedwig? My snowy owl. Hagrid gifted her to me for my 11th birthday. I used to bring her out here to stretch her wings all the time. That's funny. Hagrid bought me an owl too. Hasn't changed one bit, has he? Hagrid didn't know it at the time, but he gave me my first and best birthday present. It sounds like you care a lot about Hedwig. I do. She was my first friend. I miss her dearly. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to her? She sacrificed herself to save me from a killing curse. I'm so sorry. She seems like a special owl. She was. You'll make a lot of friends, feathered and otherwise, during your time at Hogwarts. Always cherish them. I will. Oh, another photo with Harry Potter. He's older and taller. Really well, shows. I should probably oh. start preparing for my lecture. Thank you for keeping me company. Yes, in the first scene that uh, I didn't record, Harry Potter is here to do a special guest lecture in I've Magic the Dark Arts. About old memories and making new ones too. I'm guessing we're gonna go have to do the magic in the dark arts with Harry Potter. Let's see what happens. Nope. Oh, a limited time thing for the forest. Uh, I guess we finished Harry Potter. Well, let's go into the woods. Why not? Um, while while I'm recording, 
I'm gonna go into the woods any oh I should I gotta do visit Hagrid to get my daily quest first so always every day I log in and go to see Hagrid to unlock that daily quest I've never risked missing a day um, maybe you can get the days after the fact but I feel like you've got to log in at least the day and see Hagrid to get the quest All right, and then so here's the day. So yesterday, I didn't finish all of them. I haven't used the monster book in all of the times needed. But because I unlocked the daily quest, even one, two, three, four, five, I finished them. But if I hadn't, it wouldn't matter. They'd still be available for me. Today, a day seven, you always absolutely have to do it because uh, the end of the day, the whole thing resets, and then you, whatever you haven't done, you haven't done. Uh, we also have to use the Niffler a few times. Initiate or accept two card trade requests. Defeat three spiders uh, in the Forbidden Forest. We're going to go to do the Forbidden Forest shortly. And two card trades. Let's see if we can get that done right now. There's a card trade record. Is there a trade that I can do right now? Um, they want the monster book. I've got lots of monster books. I could, I could do that. Let's trade a monster book. And I like the troll. I also like the, it's the rumpin. Oh, this one's good too. Um, oh, such a tough decision. It doesn't really matter. Maybe I'm going to take the rumpin. There we go. Trade. I've got 33 blue trade tokens. So, no issues there. And we've got to do two trades as part of our daily quest. Don't want to give up the lightning thing. I don't want to give up fairies. Lots of people want fairies. Um, I could give up the blue cards, but I tend to just... Oh, you know what? I'm going to give up this... I forget the names of them, but this one here in the middle from Scarlet X... Because I want more of the gi giant troll. I don't have enough of the giant troll yet. So I'll give up uh, whatever the name of that card is for a giant troll. And there's my two daily quests. Nice. Now I can upgrade the troll again. Um, I'm sure he's got a better name. I'm, I'm, Yeah, I don't play enough to remember the names of the stuff i just tend to do the quests so into the forest let's uh, we got to fight some spiders anyway in the forest uh and we completed the task here let's just complete that 15 of those gems uh or topaz is really what they are claim the ford nothing super great there today but that's okay uh, just blue echoes. Can you delete echoes I'd, or grey ones? Blue or grey, I don't even need them anymore. Uh, but they just sit there taking up inventory, I guess. <laughs> do, they, do they just accumulate forever? Perhaps. Anyway, we're going into the woods. There we go, in transit. What's happened? What... What's happened? I don't want to go to Hagrid. Oh, I must have accidentally hit the Hagrid. No, we want to go to the forest. Yeah, that's what happened. I accidentally hit the button as I was moving in the top right-hand corner. Uh, I, I haven't finished the story. The, when the game first came out, there was rewards for doing the story, and then there wasn't. And I tend to be very heavily motivated by doing re rewards. All right, we're going to try to... Which Into the Woods we're going to do? It doesn't really matter. I need more of the um, yellow legendary characters. So let's go in. We're going to go in and do the match. We want to try and get one of each of the three of Into the Woods 1. I'll give it a little bit of time to, to get the matching set up. Um, and around 30 seconds up to a minute maximum is what I wait if it won't match me by then then I just 
Do enter solo. Now that it's taking more time to match, which tends to make me believe less and less people are playing this game. And it looks like it's not matching me with anyone because right now no one else is doing Into the Woods 1. And therefore, no match. Um, yeah, no match. We'll just enter solo. Enter solo. Who do I want to bring? Um, we'll bring those two names, I'm not sure, I keep forgetting, I normally bring the other two, but they level up and stuff, and so I try to mix it up. Anyway, let's see how this Robin, and, oh, what's her name, the other character, <laughs> okay, so I like to do the hard ones, because I feel like the harder ones give you the better rewards, which let you actually finish it because the end of it's hard well and we're right into it let's move out of the way we threw a spider down this is my deck i like the birds the birds do tons of damage let's get in the road um where are we gonna go there's the fire everyone sort of moved no we got pretty good damage with the fire there's a monster book we've got the monster book quest there's a niffler there are so many of them, I'm going to throw down McGonagall because she has a special effect to make them all basically turn into... No, it didn't work during this type of event. So I probably just wasted the McGonagall drop. Although I think we get to have her um, every round in this Into the Woods type thing. What I'm going to do, every third attack attacks twice, every fourth attack deals AoE, gain movement card when you stand in place. I don't find I'm running out of movement, so I'm going to take double hit, every third attack attacks twice, that works for me. Not the best, and so in this one we defeated three spiders, um, apparently. There must have been, I, I didn't see the spiders that we defeated, but apparently we did. Alright. Oh, so it's so I disgusting. Can you smell it? Blech. 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 <laughs> smells like vomit. Blech. <laughs> oh, werewolves. I didn't get out of the way in time. Let's drop some of that and drop Oh, I didn't get out of the way again in time. And, oh, again, I'm being destroyed. Nope, they're going to have to throw down the Gonagill to... There we go, I moved out of the way this time. I'm going to drop some poison so I kill these ones that are actually destroying me. Um, they are legit destroying me here. Destroying me real good. But we won. Ho, <laughs> ho, We won. Okay. Uh, every nine spell cards used, next one does 150. Um, spell damage is 3% life steal. I kind of like that, but we're, there's only a couple more matches. So 3% life steal. I don't know if it's significant enough. I'm going to do life steal anyway, just because those werewolves destroyed me. So here, the options we could rest and get more health. But let's just keep battling hard. See if I can make it through. Let sleeping dogs lie. Literally. They can't be pleased with just a few sweets. Okay. It's the puppy. Oh, I like puppies. Especially three-headed ones. There we go. Drop the fire. Drop a monster book. Drop McGonagall since she resets every match. And then use the birds that fly around and attack that's near me. Get in there for the bludger. I think I'm just out of the way. Let's drop the poison there on the big doggies. Um, don't poison doggies. <laughs> and get behind the gun gill there. And we're done. Super easy. That one. Which one are we going to do? Reduces the MB cost. Oh, I like focused. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I mean, the unison gain portigo when near teammates could be useful, but I really like being able to cast more spells because they become cheaper. Like, that MP gain is really useful, especially when you have a few low-cost spells, because then they can go from, like, 
two or three to one or two and the like you can really start dropping um some spells oh we've got the wizard the wizard can be a little harder let's start with poison um let's get mcgonagill out there right away and get poison on the wizard again drop a niffler and then i'm just going to use basically the oh, um whatever card is gets cheap uh he's going to destroy everyone with his Magic. Oh, that's right. He sucks you in and does damage, and you gotta like really try to get out. Let's drop the tree on him, and we've gotta make sure we don't get sucked into his um, thing. We get some uh, wizard thingies there, and we're gonna where is he? We're gonna drop some poison. Oh, he moves. Drop the niffler. He's, he's gonna move out of the way so he doesn't suck us in again. Drop the magic book. And drop the tree again, it got cheap. There's the tree right on him. And he's sucking us in. Oh, I dropped it in the wrong spot. Move out of the way. Get out of the way, please. There we go. We didn't get totally destroyed and we get just about to get him. And drop Ron. We're about to win. Boom! And we got Neville. I've already got a good Neville. Um, I wanna get a new, a new legendary. There's three possible legendary characters that you can get from there. I need to keep doing it to get a different one. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm sure you don't want to see me. Oh, uh, no, you know, I'm going to keep playing. So if you want to keep, if you do want to see me keep playing, you can. What else have we got? Let's get uh, uh, back out of that. Did we, did we finish our dailies from that? We could have. That could have been it. Let's, let's see. Magic Awakened. Out of the team exploration. No, no, here we go. Okay. We did. That's a, the, all of their dailies. So there's a Niffler. And let's go into the full daily tasks here so we can finish day six. The monster books. And which, by completing that one, that completes all our weekly tasks. And we're going to get our gold. No, it's our gold. It's our gems. It's a key. We got a key. Oh, that was for the quest of completing them all. And a hundred uh, topaz, I think it is. That's what we got. I don't think it was coins. I think it was topaz, which is per can be pretty useful. All right, so let's get out of the Forbidden Forest. That's her daily quest. So normally, this would be where I would end up. But today, we're going to go to the shop. And remember to get your free item every day. Because, you know, free cards add up. One per day, that's 300 cards over a year. That adds up. Nothing in particular we want to buy today. I could definitely spend 20,000 gold on the Pur Pur Tortum Locomotor. Absolutely love that card. Uh, but I don't have 20,000 gold because I keep spending it to upgrade cards. I've got two keys. Um, this is going to end in a week. I don't want to spend two. I believe I'm ten away from unlocking five more keys. If I got ten keys, I'd use them. If not, I'm just going to save them up because, you know, there's just going to be another and another and another red key event thing. And you want to get to them enough to get the, the special new release card, basically, is what you want to do. That's it for the shop. Let's go get the keys. Where's our keys? Not bundles. Ah, here we are. So, basic keys. Let's see what we get today. We get... Nothing special. And one, one extra, just for good luck. Let's so pull that one. And that one gets us nothing special as well. And now our th we've got three of uh, the golden keys. We're s still a ways. Oh no, hold on. 18 out of 20. I always forget which way above. Have we got to open 18 more? Or have I got only two more to unlock it? Let's see. Let's see. We're getting a legendary. It was only two more. What's our legendary today going to be? Do I have to press? 
Yes, I do. Ooh, the dragon egg. I've actually never used this card. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> the little shot of fire. I want a pet dragon. Do you want a pet dragon? What would you name your pet dragon? Dragon McDragon Face? That'd, that'd be a good name. Um, back. So we're done. Guaranteed draw in 18 out of 20 draws. No, that was before. And now it's because we, so we've used one and we have 19 more to go. Um, to get the next guaranteed legendary pull. So that was nice for today's episode. We got Dragon McDragon Face card. Uh, what am I doing now? Uh, if I get some likes on this video, I'll go ahead and continue doing these videos. No, I'm going to go ahead anyway. But when I, I'll do the story mode eventually, I will um, record it in theory. We're going to use four different... No, you know what? I think that's it for today's episode. 20 minutes of recording. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching and um, catch you next time. Hopefully that's sooner than later. I'd like to say it'll be tomorrow, but I can't guarantee it. Say up. No, I stop.